The application question on sign law, which may lead to ambiguous case, is right here. The question is, a light in a park can illuminate effectively up to a distance of 100 meters. A point on the bike path is 150 meters from the light. The sight line to the light makes an angle of 23 degrees with the bike path. What angle of the bike path to the nearest meter is effectively illuminated by the light? Correct. So let's consider this to be the bike path, for example. And uh, we are saying that the sight line to the light makes an angle of 32 degrees. So, so let's consider like this. Let's say somewhere here we have light. Okay, so we have light here. And uh, this is 32 degrees. So a point on bike path is 150 meters from the light. So this point, let's call this point as A. It is 150 meters from the light. Is that okay? The sight line to the light makes an angle of 23 degrees and it makes angle of, I'm sorry, 23, not 32, 23 degrees. Correct. Now the question here is, what length of bike path to the nearest meter is effectively eliminated by the light? Now, the light path is right there. This is the light path. Now, as you can see, as given also here, the light can only eliminate till 100 meters effectively. That means kind of like here, right? So from here, this much portion can be eliminated. So we can say kind of like this. So you can make a circle. Is it okay? I mean, so, so that means we are looking for a portion which is kind of like this. So this is the portion which gets eliminated where these sides are 100 meters. It doesn't make sense to you. And what we need to figure out is what is this length BC which is getting eliminated, right? Now, I hope from this figure it's easier to solve the question, correct? So let's solve it. So basically, what we can do here is that since we know this angle is 32 and that side is 100, we can find angle B using sine law, right? So that's what we will do. So we say sine of B over the opposite side of 150 is equal to sine of 23 degrees over 100. Or sine B is equals to 150 times sine 23 over 100, correct? Now let's figure it out, how much it is. So we have 150 sine 23 equals to, and we'll divide this by 100. So that gives us uh, 0 0.586 less than 1. Right? That is sine B. So angle B will be sine inverse of all this. Correct? Okay? So we'll do sine inverse of this, shift, sine inverse of the answer is equal to 35.88. Rounding to one decimal place, we get 35.9 degrees. So angle B is 35.9 degrees. Since the triangle LCB is isosceles. Since these two sides are 100, we can find what angle CLB is. So angle CLB should be equal to 180 degrees minus 35.9 minus, this is also equal to 35.9. You see that? 
since it's an isosceles triangle, correct? So let's figure this out. So we have 180 minus 35.9 minus 35.9 is equal to, in decimals, 108.2. Correct, and this angle, since it is isosceles triangle, is actually 35.9. Correct, okay. Now, based on this, we can now find CB using sine law once again. So, as you can see, first we applied sine law, now we'll again apply sine law to solve this particular triangle. So, we can now say that CB over this angle sine, which is sine of 108.2 degrees is equal to so this is 100 so we get a sine 100 over sine of 35.9 or length cb is equal to 100 times sine of 108.2 divided by sine of 35.9 okay let's go so it is 100 times sine of 108.2 and we'll divide this by sine of 35.9. So the answer here is 162 and the units are meters. So the length which is eliminated is actually 162 meters and that is how you get right. Now, as you can see, opposite 35 degrees, it is 100. So, this is a much bigger angle. So, we do expect a larger value here. Right? So, our answer is the path eliminated is, uh, we have to round to one decimal place since it is 162. Let me write 0 here. We are looking for nearest meter. And so, this is okay. So, we could write this as 162 meters. Perfect.